السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي طلاب الصف الأول Hello dear students of grade 1 I hope you watching this video while you are well and healthy English subject grade 1 module 3 let's play maths Let's start with let's play. And in this lesson, we will learn how to ask how to ask and answer questions about how someone feels. في هذا الدرس سوف نتعلم كيف نسأل شخص ما عن شعوره أو كيف يشعر وكذلك نتعلم كيفية الإجابة عن هذه الأسئلة. And as usual, let's start with the new words. وكالعادة لنبدأ بالكلمات الجديدة. Look here. And let's do it. And I would like you to listen. And at the same time, to repeat. Hungry. Hungry. Thirsty, thirsty, boy, boy, girl, girl, all right, now let's move to the next step and here I want you to open your box to page number 42. Open your student's book to page number 42. All right. Now, look, let's look at the picture and ask a question about it. All right. Let's ask some questions. So this is the main point here. Look here. Is she hungry? Look at the picture. Is she hungry? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. All right, now look at the picture. Okay, read with me this question. Is he thirsty? Is he thirsty? What do you think? Of course, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is thirsty. Look at him. Is he sad? Is he sad? Look at his smile here. Is he sad? No, he is not. No, he is not. He is happy, not sad. All right, look at this girl. Is she a boy? Is she a boy? Is she a boy? No, she is not. No, she is not. So this is, dear students, how we make use of the new words. And this is how we ask about someone, about how someone feels. بذلك أعزائي الطلاب بهذه الأسئلة تعلمنا كيف نستخدم الكلمات الجديدة في أسئلة وأجوبة وبنفس الوقت تعلمنا كيف نسأل عن شعور شخص ما كيف يشعر وكيف نجيب عن هذه الأسئلة All right. Let's do one more question and answer Is he short? Is he short? 
this guy or this boy is he short yes he is yes he is thanks a lot dear student for listening now let's move on to students and I would like you to look at this page in your book and look carefully at the pictures numbered from 1 to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then we will hear to these two kids or these two boys and learn from them how to play this game الآن أعزائي الطلاب أود منكم أن تنظروا إلى هذه الصفحة التي أمامكم في الكتاب وتنتبهوا جيدا إلى هذه الصور المرقمة من واحد إلى ثمانية 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ثم سوف نستمع إلى هذين الولدين ونتعلم منهم كيف نلعب هذه اللعبة إنها لعبة رائعة جدا وتنمي الذكاء وفي نفس الوقت نتعلم كيف نستخدم الكلمات الجديدة وكيف نسأل وكيف نجي Alright, so listen carefully and do it with one of your friends or one of your family members Boy or girl? Boy Is he short? No he is not. Is he happy? Yes, he is. One. Yes. So the correct answer, or they were talking about picture number one. So all you have to do is to do as they do, select a picture and talk about it or, or ask questions about it. Thank you very much, dear students. Now let's do the second part of this lesson, which is has to do with top stars. The lesson that is entitled as top stars. Well, I'm going to start the second part of the lesson, and it's about top stars. And in this lesson, we will learn or we will revise the numbers from 1 to 10. Also, this lesson provides us with cross-curricular information on maths. In this lesson, we will learn the numbers from 1 to 10. And this lesson has a relationship to the maths. So, these are the numbers. You are already familiar with okay let's listen to them and repeat the numbers from 1 to 10 listen carefully please and repeat 1 1 2 Two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six. 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 Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. 
Ten. Ten. All right, now let's open our student book to page number 43. All right, dear students, let's do the next point. Look carefully. We have here cat. One cat. Here we have two cats. Rabbit. One rabbit. And here we have two. Two rabbits. Two rabbits. So, when we have one cat, we say cat. And when we have two cats, we say cats. I mean that we add S to the word cat. Cats. Two cats. Also here, one rabbit. But two rabbits. We add S at the end of the word rabbit when we have two rabbit rabbits so when we have two we add s to the end of the word هنا اعزائي الطلاب اود منكم الانتباه جيدا لهذه النقطة وهي انظروا جيدا لدي هنا cat cat one cat but here I have two, two cats. هنا لدي two cats. أضفت s إلى نهاية كلمة cat عندما أصبح لدي two, two. And here also وهنا أيضا rabbit, one rabbit. وعندما أصبح لدي two Two rabbits. أضفت s إلى نهاية كلمة rabbit. عندما أصبح لدي two. أضفت أيضا s إلى نهاية الكلمة. So this is how we make plural. هذا يعلمنا كيف نعمل الجمع في اللغة الإنجليزية. So we add s. إلى نهاية الكلمة عندما يكون لدي أكثر من شيء أو أكثر من شيء واحد. So one cat, two cats, ten cats. Thank you very much. Now let's answer this question and learn how to use may or make use of the is plural. How many bags do can you see? Of course, four bags. Look at the S that we added because we have four, not one. So four bags. Four bags. Now it's your time to do this activity in your student book. You have to do it by your own self. Okay. Look at this picture here. You have to count and write the number here. All right. Look at this. We have table. So how many tables are there? One, two, three, four, four tables. So you write here number four and do the same with the chairs and the bag, books, pencils, rubbers. So look and say. Also here in this activity, look at the picture here. But this time you have to say. You have to say. For example, look at the bags. One, two. So I can see two bags. Do the same with the rubbers and the pencils and the chairs. Say the number, then add S.
to the word. And here we go. We come to the homework. This is your homework on these two pages. Page number 36 and 37 from the workbook. Do your homework, please. And that's it. We come to the end of our lesson. See you soon. Finally, we say goodbye. Bye. برعاية الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته